Hi there, ready to install your NR3XL pressure reducing valve? Great, I'll go through the steps and throw in a few tips to save you some time and labor along the way. You'll need the following tools to complete this installation. Before installing your NR3XL, first make sure to flush out your water line to remove any loose dirt, debris, or scale that could damage the seal ring and seat. Install your NR3XL in line using the appropriate connections and thread tape if needed, with the arrow on the valve body pointing in the direction of flow. The valve may be installed in a horizontal, or vertical position, as long as the arrow on the NR3XL is pointing downstream. When installing your NR3XL, make sure to leave enough room around the unit for regular testing, inspections, and maintenance. Your NR3XL will come preset to reduce the line pressure to approximately 50 PSI, which is suitable for many applications. Install a pressure gauge downstream of the NR3XL for reference during installation while verifying proper function or adjusting the pressure setting. To readjust the reduced pressure, loosen the outer lock nut and turn the adjustment bolt. Turn the bolt clockwise into the bell housing to raise the reduced pressure. Do not bottom out the adjustment bolt on the bell housing. To lower the reduced pressure, turn the bolt counterclockwise out of the bell housing. Once you've reached the desired pressure setting, Tighten the lock nut. For accuracy and to prevent fouling of the valve's seal, Zern recommends flowing a trickle of water from a downstream fixture while adjusting or setting the reduced pressure. Anytime a pressure reducing valve is adjusted, a pressure gauge must be used downstream to verify that you've achieved the correct pressure setting. Well, that just about does it. If you need additional guidance, you can always reach out to our expert team for support. Thanks for installing your NR3XL pressure reducing valve with us today. We hope you found this tutorial useful. And check out our huge library of other installation and troubleshooting videos on our YouTube channel.